Prince Mukhele. He's from Kimberley in the Sol Plaki municipality. Minister, he sent you a tip. Andris, please stand on the second table there, table number 12. Tell us what is your question to the minister. Uh, very good morning, uh, Minister. Uh, and protocol observed. Uh, my question relates to issues of entrepreneurship. We, we understand that entrepreneurship is, is, is a base and it's a key to unlock job creation. Uh, but with observation and, and studies conducted here at home and the Global Entrepreneurship Monitor report of 2010 states that it says we are lagging behind in terms of entrepreneurship development. As a result, we get a point where we have a lot number of our startups not being able to sustain themselves. Now the question is, how are we doing as government and as Department of Finance, Treasury, and the Department of Trade and Industry to ensure that we create the right kind of conducive environment for our startups and established business to, you know, to thrive okay. and be able to create the jobs that are much needed in okay. our country. All Thank right. you. Thank you very much. Minister, please uh, park that question. If you come forward with the microphones, I'd like to give the young people an opportunity. Some of the students who are in the room from schools around Cape Town, just show me your hand quickly. We can get a microphone to you as well. You've just passed one at the back there, just behind you. He's got a blue jacket there. Just tell us what your name is and then your question. Yes. Uh, my name is Sufyan. Please stand so that we can find you with a camera. Another student, there's a student on this side with a yellow shirt, the microphone to her. Yeah, please go for it. Uh, I'm from Sachs. And I want to know if, if the National Planning Commission's report uh, affected the way the Finance Minister constructed his budget speech, and okay. if so, how? All right. Thank you very much. One last question from the young lady over there with the shirt in yellow. Please stand as well. Honorable, Honorable Minister, I'd like to ask that what changes have you made actually concerning the budget? What mm -hmm. changes have you made to sustain our economy? Okay. Thank All you. right. Thank you. Thank you very much. What's your name? I am Nolutando from Nolutando. George Logo High School in Kailicha. Thank you very much, Nolutando. Minister, entrepreneurship development, uh, the national planning report, and changes for, towards growth. Uh, Andres is uh, absolutely right uh, about <coughs> the entrepreneurship factor in South Africa. One of the things that we have a, a penchant for in, in South Africa is that we expect government to do everything. In most parts of the world, it's societies and individuals uh, and communities that organize themselves and take initiatives. And we've got to create a climate in South Africa where we start taking initiatives. Where yesterday in Isizulu, we talked about not sitting in Ikoneni. We can't sit in corners with folded arms and expect entrepreneurship to come to us. We can't expect jobs to come to us. We've got to go out there, take initiatives, create those micro-businesses, fail in those micro-businesses, because the same studies will also tell you that you've got to fail twice before you succeed. But uh, I think we sometimes want to fail, uh, not fail at all, and uh, succeed the first time round. So the gov from a government point of view, we'd certainly like to encourage entrepreneurship. The DTI has, for example, these incubation schemes where they mentor uh, businesses. I know in the private sector there's a, very, uh, a variety of entrepreneurship, let's call them schools uh, or, or incubation schemes as well, okay. where small businesses are, are being encouraged to uh, grow and, and learn how, what it means to uh, grow a particular business. Minister, allow me to intervene here and just ask you to pause at this point. We need to get to the news at exactly 7 o'clock, but your question uh, about the planning uh, report to the minister and the question about changes for growth in this economy will be answered after 10 past 7. Thank you very much. You're watching Morning Live on SABC2. Let's return.